Hey guys and welcome to my channel. This video today is not actually meant to be a tutorial, but I wanted to show you. This is just a painting demonstration of how I painted this painting and it absolutely did not turn out, not nearly the way I wanted it to turn out. And I just absolutely hated it all the way and from the beginning till the end became so impatient with it but and I was just thinking should I post this I was actually painting this more than two hours and I was so frustrated and so unhappy that when I finished it I just couldn't take a paper and paint anything else I was just so spent so so I, I don't know what to tell you so well frustrated I guess and I just wanted to leave it all and I've decided to take a day off and well I did decide that but still again I'm here and as I said I was just thinking whether to post this or not to upload it to make a video about it and I said well who would want to see that it's horrible but then I thought to myself you know you're expecting a video from me because I did say I would do daily videos and you know maybe sometimes I just I just wanted to show you that I also go through those phases when there is a day that just nothing goes right for me and there are days when I, I'm not sure if I, I want to paint I just maybe maybe I just don't want to paint so maybe that is what happened here I it wasn't my day for painting maybe I just needed a break and so but anyway I decided to tackle this horribly hard painting not easy definitely not easy this one is very hard to do at least for me of course and well I wanted to paint this jar when I saw this reference photo I saw this jar so illuminated so sparkly and I just wanted to paint that and just for a couple of days I was just so focused on that jar and how I would paint that how I would demonstrate that light in the jar and so I guess so so focused with that that I didn't even think about the rest of the painting and it was when I painted the rest of the painting I was just again focused on that jar and I just couldn't I just couldn't concentrate and do it right and do the sky right do the sea right that I've just painted like a million times before and well it I have it I think I have it in my finger you know in my style I'm not saying it's perfect but in my style that style of painting I do have in my finger but it just nothing turned out right nothing it started with the sky and I was so impatient to get to that jar to try to paint that jar that maybe I should have just started with painting the jar I'm not I don't know I'm not sure but I guess I I was I became so impatient and I wanted to do it so fast I wanted to finish the sky so fast the sea so fast just to get into that jar and I made a couple of cardinal mistakes that are just well I guess that are horrible and then it became muddy in my painting colors became so muddy and I was just so frustrated I tried to cover it up with another paint and make it even more muddier and you can see the sky I don't like it at all I don't like it it's dull it's it's not vibrant it's just muddy and that's what happened actually also in my sea just mud 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 and I, I do I did want to do the reflection from the sun and just couldn't do it just couldn't do it it was horrible <laughs> it I don't know what happened with the colors with the paper with me it just nothing turned out the way I wanted it. I painted also those waves millions time, million times before and I don't know why but I just started to paint it on a wet paper which that is something I would never do. I, I, I always dry it before and you know I guess as I said I was so impatient. I was just thinking about that jar, looking at that jar, just thinking how would I paint that, how I would paint that and the rest of the painting just... Oh, awful 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 so I couldn't do this also the reflection just the sun the other ball in the water because it was just that I don't know I don't even know what that color is that's just something like black gray purplish black I don't know I'm not sure it just went into the sun all the time and on into their reflection just making it muddy muddy and I tried to pick up that paint and add another paint it just wasn't working it just wasn't working for me somewhere along the way also my water became so dirty 
and I didn't feel like going and changing it because again I was frustrated so I used that dirty water that made my paint even muddier and I just could not pick up the beautiful yellow I could not pick up the beautiful red nothing I just I just whatever I picked my brushes were dirty and I couldn't clean them in the water because it was dirty and everything became dirt and I don't even know well I have this I have this theory that you have to finish all your paintings that you can't leave them you know because you will transfer that negative energy or maybe some that horrible not good for painting energy I can't explain that just that that mojo you know that you just don't have or have at one point and so I don't like to go with it on my next painting I like to leave it in this one that it's not going that it's horrible so I had to finish this one and I actually walked away from it for a couple of times I walked away I said I won't finish it then I went into my living room and I was just sitting there and it was bugging me and I got up and I had to go back and redo and finish it and again not I did not finish it then I left again and just a couple of times I was just going back and forth back and forth and looking at that painting and well I was just wondering why is not why is, wasn't anything working but it's not really you know the point is that it was absolutely my fault and you know I wouldn't call it even fault it's just it's just the day you know it's just the feel I was I was very impatient and, and I guess this painting was doomed from the beginning because I didn't give the time of day the other parts of the painting I didn't even think what colors I'm gonna use in in the other parts of the painting I did not at all think about my painting I was just focused on that jar and you know that jar 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 and it was just constantly in my head and those lights how I will do it and whenever I did look at my reference photo I was just looking at that jar and those lights and I was just thinking how I'm gonna do that and in the process of that everything else just got bad everything else was ignored from by me and you know got bad I did prepare as you could have seen in the beginning the sketch for this painting I will upload it on my website so you can absolutely download it for yourself maybe even try this painting you know maybe it will turn out better for you just keep in mind to clean your water and try to dry your layers before you go into the next layer not to avoid creating mud and well just use any colors you like you know I did not even say right now what colors I'm using because I really don't think this is a tutorial and I really don't think that you should follow my steps because I was just going back and forth back and forth trying to fix mistake I've done and just make new mistakes and then try to fix that mistake and just going back and forth back and forth and I really don't like that painting but if you like to try it I will also put a reference photo in my description box so you can you can maybe try this painting you know just think about the colors you're gonna use maybe make um maybe make a, a swatch for yourself and well who knows maybe it will turn out to be good and i did wanted to use here a masking marker because i know a couple of you also bought this masking marker and you know i well of course I haven't used it for a while not even masking fluid not even masking marker and I did wanted to use it in this painting so you can use it but you, of course you can you can mask your jar if you want to this jar you can you can just well try this one maybe try it maybe just maybe not paint the sun maybe not paint the waves just maybe this part where the jar is you know try try to do that try that light and try to well get your colors to be clean and bright and vibrant and not muddy so that is maybe you could try that that is that is my point and the reason as i said why i wanted to why i upload this video at the end is because you know i do want to share my blobs also and i do want to show you that i do have bad days and i do want to show you that you know I do have a lot of paintings in my pile that, that didn't turn out the way I wanted it and they are somewhere in my drawer um, bad horrible are there and you know they live there and that's fine you know that's fine I, I do get frustrated as all you do of course but you know it it goes away I focus on another painting and I do it 
I do that. I do it. I do it and I like it. So it happens. It can just happen. And sometimes we take on ourselves the challenge that at, at, the se- at the particular time, we're not up for that challenge. You know, it's not that I don't think I could paint this. It's just that I really do believe it wasn't my day for this painting. You know, sometimes you you just need to do lighter paintings. And that's why I did those paintings with doodles. Because, you know, I do need sometimes a lighter painting and just something that really doesn't need ask for any brain. You just do it. You know, your brain is somewhere else and you just do it. So I guess that's what I needed today for paint. But... I got myself into this huge challenge that well this painting that I wanted to paint for quite a while because I said as I said I really loved it but I didn't actually prepare myself for it I did not prepare myself mentally and I did not prepare myself physically you know the paints I did not make my made my swatches because you know as I said this one is quite difficult at least for me so I should have been prepared more and I should have been maybe more more how do i say that maybe more more um up for that painting you know in a mood for that painting so i guess it did turn out the way it did turn out and that's fine you know it's finished it's done it's gone and now i can move on and do something better something that maybe won't frustrate me and this time I will try to do something light and easy. So maybe something light and easy will be tomorrow. Maybe not. I don't know how I will wake up tomorrow with how I will feel when I wake up tomorrow. But, you know, I hope I will do a video. But, you know, also I did wanted to tell you that probably I will take a break because I see I do need a break from painting and I do have couple of things waiting for me to be done you know because I don't have really time to do them so I guess I will take a smaller breaks and I think I will you know maybe not paint every day maybe every other day I'm not sure or maybe I will paint every day I I will see and well thank you again a lot you really really your support means so much to me and when I see your comments they just give me the energy to go and to do and to paint more and you know to make these videos thank you guys a lot and for watching and for everything and you know well i hope i'll see you next time bye